Rolling. Where have you been? No note? Car gone? You could have died? You could have been seen! <laughs> Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everybody. It is your boy, Finna SB, back with another office video, man. And it's been, like I said, it's been a minute, alright? We're just gonna We're just gonna jump in. Alright, that's what we do here. Today we're gonna be talking about the five different types of scooter kits. This is always fun. Now I did a video on this a few years ago, and I thought I would make an updated list of my own because back then I just read some article that was posted by some random dude. So I'm just gonna make my own right here, right now. And I feel like it's far more accurate. So stay to the end of the video and see which category you belong to. If any of them, you might be in between them. I don't know, I don't care, but you'll probably fit into one of these categories. And with that being said, let's get right into the, into the countdown. Okay, you don't wanna, all right, that's fine. Fuck you too. <laughs> What a do, boot crew. Wait, I already did this part. Never mind. Five types of scooter kits. Number one, the generic scooter kit. Typically asks if you're sponsored, uh, asks if you can backflip. Now, these people can usually name two pro scooter riders, one being our uh, Willy, of course. How could you not? And two, unfortunately, it's Claudius. Un unfortunately? Unf yep. I mean, that's what the scooter kid would probably say. And Fortney, I know Claudius for Tessie and R. Willy. Can you backflip? Are you sponsored? The generic scooter kid has probably ridden scooters for maybe one, possibly two years tops, and they know literally nothing about the core scootering industry. Hence why they always ask the standard question, can you backflip? Are you sponsored? Because their understanding of being good at scootering is being sponsored and being able to backflip. That's just the way that rolls. Number two. <laughs> The Sponsor Me Scooter Kit, okay? Usually one-ups every trick that you do at a skate park. He just kind of follows you around and just adds whips and bar spins to every trick that you and your pairs can do. Even when you move away from them, they constantly follow you around in a desperate attempt to prove themselves of how good they are. Usually these kind of riders have a weak, clickbaity Instagram and have a whopping six web edits on YouTube. These kind of kids are my personal favorite uh, scooter kids purely because they're just the best rider at their own local. And there's always one rider at every skate park that is the best at their skate park. And take that deluded mindset out of your brain and throw it in the trash. Just like this. Here we have a perfectly usable trash can. And here we have your ego. Bye. <laughs> it's gonna be fun editing this video because I get to put someone who's got a big ego, you know, and just Scooter Brad. These types of kids are usually always feel the need to justify why they deserve a sponsorship. But if they did truly deserve a team spot, they would already have one. Number three, the street kids. These kids ride only skate parks, ironically. Uh, scooter is way too big for them. Hates on park riders all day long. Pretty much for no reason, even though they only ride skate parks, you know? These kind of scooter kids, they kind of crack me up. Sometimes they're really good. There's one kid called Hugo, I think his name is, from Sydney. I just randomly followed this kid one day on Explore and his clips kind of crack me up. He's not actually that bad. He's got a scooter that's way too big for him, but he makes it work. He makes it look okay. These kids are just, they're just so funny. They're so strange because they go around and they chat, yada, yada, yada. Oh, look at this park rider. Oh, you did so many kicklesses today. I bet he can't even front board slide. I bet he doesn't know the difference between backside and front side. Eh. There's not really a lot to say to these kind of kids. Um, keep doing what you're doing. Uh, I mean, you're not really doing anything wrong. You know, hating on other scooter riders is, is perfectly acceptable, uh, apparently in 2019. So uh, I don't know. Uh, and uh, if you do ask me to rip your jewel, uh, I probably will. Number four. Like the amount of times I banged your mom. The hippies. <laughs> I didn't bang your mom that many times. The hippies usually have stiff styles, uh, might have an Instagram theme, which by the way is basically pointless and creativity on Instagram at this point is practically dead. So don't bother getting creative. You'll just get out clickbaited by memes. That was a joke, by the way. These writers commonly post a bunch of inspirational quotes. Go commit that. It's, it's just, just a meme. meme. Are you serious? Things like, look for something positive in each day even if some days you have to look a little harder. <laughs> but the instant they get into an argument, they will not rest until they are deemed the winner. And last but not least, number five, the pros. 
See Jazzy Carter, uh, Jared Colwell, Dante Hutchinson, okay? These are real pros that keep it real. These riders are in their own lanes. They ride like nobody else. They're eye capturing because they post content that people haven't seen a million times over. And by that, I mean, they don't post a kickless combo with 6 9 music in the background. I don't know why you all do that, okay? We're getting off topic. What I'm trying to say is that I wish that everyone would stop following this specific formula to get followers. Really, it just involves you dressing up like a head and dancing around in a trash bin. <laughs> And you might get them, but only because people see you as a huge meme. <laughs> Scootering isn't about getting famous. Really, like when it comes down to it, don't worry about it. Stop caring about it because it doesn't mean anything else. It doesn't make you better than other people. You can just post your stuff and the people who appreciate it will come and appreciate it. If you want more than that, then you gotta be prepared to sink the amount of hours and 50k, 100k plus on Insta. There is so much work, so much work. The followers don't just come like in big crowds. Sometimes they do, but you gotta have something for them to flock towards. Kickless combos with over-based music in the background. No one wants to see that because they've seen it a hundred million times. Stop caring so much. Trust me, when I was 14, I was obsessed with getting sponsored. I was the two tier scooter kid, sponsor me scooter kid. And guess what? The moment that I tr that I stopped trying so hard to get noticed and get recognized and just focused on actually posting my own content, my own edits with my with all my homies in them and stuff. I had made all these montage videos. That's when I started getting noticed. You're giving them something to consume. You can't just repost the same old stuff over and over again for months on end and expect it to go anywhere. A guy from Long Way was giving me uh, a bit of stick and some kid from, I don't know, somewhere in Australia who's apparently one of my fans and now apparently isn't a fan because I gave him some insight into his Instagram uh, because he asked me for it, for my opinion on your Instagram, and I gave you it. Not in a horrible way, in an honest way. I don't understand the scooter scene. Like, I see so many people that get so many views and sponsors, but can only do like a bar spin and a bri flip when you have people that stay grinding every day, post every day, and get nowhere. Like, start supporting actual riders instead of people that take it for a joke. I get it's only for fun, but a bar spin shouldn't get you 1000 plus views when you have people putting out actual good clips, but only get 100, maybe 200 views. I don't know anyone who's posting just a bar spin and getting a thousand views, but all right, I hear you out, man. So he sent me this. He sent this directly to my DM box. He says, I have no problem with you. No point. I was like, what tricks you do has barely anything to do with how many people follow you. He says, I don't care about followers. He cares about views though. And views is... They come from followers, so you need followers to get views. So essentially you care about the, yes, you care about the followers. And then he posted this on his story, which he's now deleted. He says, come to Oz and have a game of Scoot, put $300 on it, and I will win at Scooter Bad. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Does he even have 300 bucks to put up for a game? He said, shouldn't have roasted me. Ooh, I'm so scared. Oh, I'm so scared. He asked, he asked me, to, me play to play Scoot for, for money, money and, and uh, I, don't I don't think, think I, could, I could, I don't think I could, I could beat him. him. He, he, he might, might take, take all my, my clout cl tokens. tokens. You pretty much said that I make shitty instas if it was for your fan base, which I'm a part of, and I'm not going to lie, I watch your videos and like your instas, but saying my instas are shit is basically a dog move. I didn't say your instas were shit. Learn to read. Oh, what was that, what was that foot dang? Like, that's just what the clip is showing me. Stop being offended. You're offended. Hey, caramba. Your numbers, because they don't matter at all. Just get out there, enjoy your scootering, post your content, and be original, be creative, and then you might end up in that tier 5, the pros category of this video. But if you didn't, let me know which category you belong in down in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching, it's been your boy FinSB, that's another video done from me, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out, have an amazing day. And I will upload without putting a two week break in the middle, okay, I promise. Peace. Tier 5, the pros.